Hello friends, this video on reproductive health part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the next method of contraception that is pills and injections. Now these are again a very common method. Taking pills is something very common especially among the uh, urban females. So what, what is this pills basically? They are nothing but they have small doses of estrogen progesterone combination. Basically these are the two female hormones which control all the reproductive activities which take place inside the body. Right? So the levels of estrogen and progesterone controls everything. So these pills also contain a combination of these hormones so that it can actually alter the menstrual cycle which is taking place inside the body. Now these doses of estrogen progesterone can be consumed either in the form of tablets and that is what we know call as pills. So these are known as contraceptive pills or they can also be given under the skin in the form of injection. So that is called contraceptive injections. So basically the composition of both the things are the same. It is just that in, if it is a medicine then you will have to take it every day. Like you will actually have to follow a routine. You are not supposed to miss days in between. So you have to take daily for 21 days and then you can have a gap of 7 days. And during those 7 days gap your menstruation will take place and then again you will have to continue this. And you will have to continue taking these tablets as long as you do not want to get pregnant. So that means as long as you want not to have a baby you will have to keep on taking these pills. So that is how it is if you want to take contraceptive pills. Now if you want to take it in the form of injections, their effective periods are longer. Like if you take one injection, it remains effective for quite a couple of days or even for quite a few months. But in case of pills, I mean you take one pill today, so it will be effective only for a couple of hours and again tomorrow you will have to take another pill. So that means the uh, effective periods vary from pills to injections. Now, how do these pills or injections work? I mean, how the presence of estrogen progesterone actually help uh, to uh, help the female to stop being pregnant? Now, what happens is the combination of estrogen progesterone, they also do this almost a similar thing as I was talking about in IUD. They also tend to make the cervical mucus quite thick and sticky. And you already know what happens when they become thick. Now when they become thick it becomes difficult for the sperms to enter. So it is like this This is where you have your cervix. right? And here if you have a very thick cervical mucus in that case the sperms which are trying to come from the vagina and trying to enter the uterus it will be difficult for them because it, the road will be blocked by the thick sticky mucus. So that is one thing. Secondly, this also slows down the growth of endometrial lining. So this is the endometrial lining. And this lining is extremely important for implantation because the implantation of the embryo and then the uh, entire gestation period, the baby remains inside the uterus being lined by the endometrial lining. So the endometrial lining is slowed down. So the lining is very thin which is not good enough to support implantation. It also prevents ovulation that is egg release of egg does not take place. So egg is not released. Now if egg is not released in that case obviously there will be no fusion. Now this is another important thing. These pills actually affect your menstrual cycle. They change your menstrual cycle by preventing ovulation. Whereas if you talk about IUDs, they do not have any effect on your ovulation or menstrual cycle. So it has so this is how the pills work. Now pills have become even more popular because uh, these days it has been seen that some pills have been effective even after 72 hours of sexual intercourse. So it is not only a preventive contraceptive method, it can also be used as an emergency contraceptive. For example, if a couple already had sexual intercourse, 
and that too they had it without any protection so in that case and after they have done the intercourse then they don't want the baby now so what should they do now so that is an emergency scenario so even in that case there are certain pills which are effective for those kind of cases also that even after sexual intercourse also you can take the pills and it can stop you from becoming pregnant so these these kind of pills or injections are also helpful in preventing pregnancy due to uh, sex crimes or rapes because in those cases uh, the intercourse is already done and now you don't want to get pregnant so in that case you can go for those kind of emergency pills now these pills and injections have quite a few disadvantages also associated with them so let us list down their advantages and disadvantages so if you talk about the advantages they are highly effective contraceptive as long as you are taking these pills your chances of getting pregnant is almost nil they regulate the menstrual cycle okay now taking these pills actually i mean there are many females who complain that they do not have a regular menstrual cycle so their menstruation doesn't come on time sometimes it is highly delayed sometimes it happens too early so in order to regularize the menstrual cycle sometimes these uh, uh, pills are being advised because they can actually make your menstrual cycle happen on time they also reduce the risk of ovarian cysts now in many females cysts that is fluid filled sac like structures are formed inside the ovary so that is they are known as ovarian cysts so if if you are taking these kind of pills now since they con they control the uh, level of estrogen progesterone so they reduce the risk of having ovarian cysts they are easy to use you just need to take one tablet a day reduce menstrual cramps they also help to reduce decrease the pain which you experience during your menstruation now that pain arises due to the contraction of the uterine muscles so you get a relief from that pain also so these are some of the advantages of the pills or the injections now looking at the disadvantages there are quite a few of them now since you are taking these pills for quite a long time and that to every day so one thing is you actually need to remember because you just want to miss it whenever you want so that remembering part is again a tedious job because sometimes it is possible that you might forget so that is one part nausea weight gain mood changes abdominal pain headache these are some of the very common symptoms of taking contraceptive pills or injections now sometimes it the uh, these side effects can be severe for some female because body of each and every female is quite different so you cannot generalize things now it has been observed that with some specific contraceptive pills the uh, the side effects which have been seen in a woman are really bad so again it depends from uh, person to person it also depends from one contraceptive pill to another contraceptive pill but yes these pills do not come without any side effects they do come with side effects but again they are highly effective as a contraceptive but there are side effects as well thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors Thank you once again.